What's up, YouTube? It's Beer Monkey again. Um, you all remember my little ammo can here. Well, I've been putzing around, messing with other things, and so I decided to make this thing. It's uh, another ammo box out of PVC pipe. This one has a uh, 15 watt two channel amp uh, with subwoofer output. There's subwoofer outputs right here. Um, this is the first one I built. Um, it works okay. It uses eight AA batteries, and they last, I don't know, a few hours. It'd probably be better if I used one of those big lithium batteries. But as you can see, I can use the I use the same kicker uh, DS uh, four-inch speakers as I used in the original ammo can. Well, the ammo can when I updated it, I went back to the old speakers because I broke one of the speakers. But anyway, that was my fault. Um, this thing is okay. It's, it was, you know, just for fun. I had a little, you know, glow in the dark. Uh, peep, uh, what is this? Glow in the dark uh, handle. It's made out of that uh, paracord stuff. This only does. It doesn't do Bluetooth. It only does 3.5 millimeter jack. Um, there's an on-off switch here, and you got your volume knob. This is actually attached to the amplifier. The amplifier is maybe like that big, square, like you know that by that. Plus this little thing sticking out. Um, I had to countersink the hole because, uh, come on, focus. Uh, I had to countersink the hole. These are marine attachments. You can buy these for like a buck something each at, at the depot or Menards or whatever. And this I made out of um, glow in the dark paracord I got from uh, Home Depot. And this thing was fun. It's not it's not as good as this. This is way better than this by far. But this is you know cheap, simple, easy to make and all sorts of stuff like that. And then I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go hardcore. So I decided to make this thing. All right, this is a six and a half inch Kicker DS series speakers. The inside guts are the same as the boom box. So that's, um, actually, I'm sorry, it's a little slightly different. It's the 32,000 milliamp hour battery and the same amplifier though. On uh, this one, instead of, on this one, to take it apart, you have to unscrew these. These are called wing bolts. So I, I threaded and uh, drilled and threaded these holes. So to take this apart, you have to thread this thing. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. You can see here. I'm not gonna take the whole thing apart because it's whatever. Bitch, and I didn't make it too well, so it's falling apart. But this one, um, I just got these pull pins. With this little, you get a little springy ball in there. Let's see. Damn it. Focus. A little spring ball in there. These are a little bit too long, but they work. So you got one in the front, and you got one in the back. And this thing pulls apart. Let's see if I can get it apart. <laughs> one hand. Oh, fuck it. Let's see. Yeah, man. Okay, so the guts of this, I got some polyfill in there. Polyfill. Just a little bit of stuffing in there to make it seem like it's a bigger volume. And I got some in there, too. Well, this is the same amplifier as I had before. It's in a little case this time. I found a case for it somehow on eBay. And then this battery this is the 37 or 32,000 milliamp hour battery. The battery itself is called, uh, it's made by Intu Circuit, that's one word, and it's called a Power Castle 32,000. They also make a Power Castle uh, 26,000. That's the old battery they have inside of here. I still have that battery. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Um, let's see if I can get this started up. Put this back together. Oh, let me turn it on first. How about that? All right, that's the output. And this one is cool. It has a digital display. I don't know if you can see it there, but it shows a uh, percentage of battery and uh, what the voltage is at. Right now, it's at 20 volts. Let me turn it that way so you can see it. It's at 81% uh, and 20 volts. I've been running this since about 10 a.m. this morning. It's currently 5 o'clock. And I ran this all day at almost full volume. Um, this amp prefers 24 volts. I'm giving it 20. It's still plenty, plenty, plenty loud. And with these six and a half inch speakers, it's ridiculous. So let me here and put it back together. Get this together. And line up the hole. There we go. Let me just push this pin in. Push the pin in. Put the one in the back. Oh, and this cord, by the way, I made this with a, it's a very thin paracord. It's like a 5 seconds or 3 seconds thick paracord, 
and it has a 250 pound brake strength compared to regular paracord which is a 550 pound brake strength and you can tell the difference in how th thick the different strands are here see it's like almost half the side if not a third anyway so let's, this thing started up let me get my cell phone out and just play some fucking music Oh, let's see. No text message. Pandora. Here we go. Alright, none of these songs I'm playing, I own. I'm playing off of Pandora. It's free music. If you don't like free music, move to a different country. Alright, let's go. Let's play some... Actually, no, fuck this. Let's go to YouTube. I want to play a song I want. Yo, dubs. Alright, and connect the Bluetooth. And it's the same amp. So it's QS Audio. QS Audio. And then boom. Come on, focus, fucker. I don't know why I just want to focus. Alright, so this is, uh, that's no volume. It's one, two, three. So it gets ridiculously loud. Um, I was gonna make an 8 inch version of this, but it would be way too big. This thing's gotta weigh, I don't know, 25, 30 pounds. And this PVC is not cheap. This PVC, this is a, um, this is one kind of elbow, I think it's called a street elbow, and this is a regular elbow, PVC 4 inch. These cost like 5, 6 bucks each. These cost $25 each. But obviously I can house a bigger battery, amp, bigger speakers. But holy fuck is that expensive. And if I wanted the 8 inch ones, the 8 inch diameter ones, those are like 60 to to $100 for each elbow. Not including the pipe in between I had to put to, you know, put them together. And plus you have to have pipe, I don't know if you can see it in here, but there's uh, the pipe here and you see a tiny little white in there. I had to take some PVC, I don't know if you could hear me there, but I had to take some PVC and glue it inside there so I could screw the speaker into there, otherwise it'd just be flopping around all willy-nilly. Um, anyway, this video is getting long. Uh, that's my new speaker box. I'm going to try to mount this to a, uh, what's it called, the Ice Bear Mix. I'm going to try to mount this, dang it, my finger is over the mic. I'm going to try to uh, mount this to an Ice Bear Mad Dog eventually, or get some kind of way to mount that to it. I already mounted that on there, that's fucking awesome. But uh, this is louder, my bike's kind of loud, so... Eh, something different. Alright, I'll try to put the description of crap from here and that in the... in the doodly-doo down the... yeah. Okay, have a good one.